Hi, I'm Luke Kelleher, CTE Director for the Auburn School District. And this video will allow you to see a lot of the programs that we have for career and technical education. Our goal is to make these kids job ready. So when they graduate here, they are the kind of kids that any employer would want to hire. We talk about safety every day. We talk about math. We talk about how to show up every day on time. Customer service is, is really important. They have to directly work with the people. Interacting with the customers and coworkers, it really is a skill that you need to learn. Uh, the goal of our classes here are to uh, introduce kids and excite kids about the fields of engineering, architecture, and the many fields in the technology area. We reach out to uh, industry and try to get them to uh, be aware of our program so that they can potentially hire our students or get a, a relationship started so when they're completed with secondary school, they already have the kind of relationship of potential uh, hire. What I'm looking for is kids that have hydraulic skills, uh, electrical skills, engine skills, and the kids that have come through here do have the basic knowledge of that. What the goal in these classes is to have students come out of here with basic workplace skills that are generalizable anywhere. Students that come out of my class with an A or a B are ready for industry shops. It also allows them to be able to go on to apprenticeship programs, to Green River Community College, into the, some of their technical programs, or directly to the workforce. In our marketing classes, the kids are taught all about selling and marketing and promotion and how to run a small business, essentially given employability skills that all businesses would desire of our students. So we operate two student stores here. They uh, learn how to run a, a till and how to manage their till and manage their money. They learn a lot about stock rotation, how to keep inventory. We also actually have a store here where the students are creating their own merchandise. The kids are designing the t-shirts, they're actually making the t-shirts right here and filling those orders. We work really hard to prepare our kids in finance, hospitality, marketing, and management. My name is Diego. I have been involved in different activities and programs in the last four years that I have been in Auburn High School. Some of those have been journalism, business marketing, and the leadership program that we have available at the school. With the leadership skills that I have been able to learn from those different programs, I've been able to apply to my day-to-day -day life, even at work. Uh, some of the things that I've learned, especially from the business marketing program, is how to interact with people and how to communicate with them and how to offer them different um, opportunities and really just connect to them in a different level. In electronics, we go through the basic uh, fundamentals of electricity, uh, electrical components, soldering techniques. Uh, we work towards the uh, ISET fundamentals. ISET is the International Society of Certified Electronics Technicians, and uh, in the end, they can test out for those industry certifications. In computer systems engineering, uh, we go over the skills required for a certification. Uh, we use the test out curriculum, which gets them a PC Pro certificate, which is analogous to the a certification, uh, but the a uh, credentials are also tied in there. Uh, computer science, they're learning programming skills, how to problem solve, and learning how to apply what they know to real world problems. Robotics, we're learning uh, fundamentals of programming, tying mechanical systems and sensors into uh, robotic systems. Uh, we teach kids a variety of things. You know, within the engineering architecture area, we teach them how to use the CAD software. The popular ones that are out there are currently used in industry, via Revit, AutoCAD, 3D Inventor, um, Rhinoceros. Uh, we also introduce kids to several different uh, shop type equipment, including 3D printers, CNC cutters, lasers, we use Lego kits and uh, robotic kits and stuff to uh, solve their problems and create projects. This is a great program for students to come in and learn basic culinary skills. By the time the kids leave our program, they all have a food handler's card that is theirs to keep. They learn to use basic knife skills, sanitation. They run our cafe program all on their own, come up with menus. Our advanced kids do a lot of outside caterings throughout the community. We have a wide range of equipment in our shop. From the basic sheet metal tools, hand tools, to the more industrial mills and lathes, to the high-tech CNC mills and CNC plasma cutters. I teach kids to work with equipment from industry that they normally would not get to experience hands-on until they actually got a job in industry, which can be very difficult because you need experience to get a job in industry. I've been in the program for about a year. 
most of the time I spent in the in the arc welding booth with heavy leather equipment on, learning how to get a steady hand and learning how to make uh, pr pretty good looking beads. I have advanced students that are able to take a print, go on any piece of equipment here, start catting, start drawing, and start planning out the process of start to finish, what it takes to take a piece of raw material and have a finished product. This is our basic woodworking class. We've got a whole bunch of different stuff going this year. Most of the students in here are working on a collaborative project. These guys have been in this class for at least one year, so they have a little bit more background in problem solving than my brand new beginning classes would. But it's a skill that the more they do it, the better they get at it. Sports medicine gives students an opportunity to check out the health and medical career fields. It gets students really started on something they're passionate about and they come out of here with some skills that they can already use. Uh, they're interested in areas like massage therapy, EMT, nursing, office administration, some want to go on to medical school, and we do our best to get them started with some hands-on experience and the people skills that come with serving patients, as well as um, record keeping and some of the basic medical terminology that they would need to use in any medical setting, as well as the background anatomy and physiology knowledge that we all know everything in the medical field starts with. So we offer multiple opportunities for students to learn everything from basic skills all the way to advanced skills. Um, we also offer multiple certifications for them to get ready for industry, from tire changing to basic service, alignments, and more advanced skills would be computer diagnostics. Obviously vehicles are becoming more and more computerized and with electric car coming, all those kind of things. Um, we're trying to give them the basic skills like that. A lot of my students may not become automotive technicians, but the skills that they learn here are definitely applicable to many different other uh, trades, an electrician or a plumber. They're learning to work with tools, okay? They're learning to follow directions. They're learning to follow uh, flow charts. So a lot of those skills that they learn here can transfer to many other industries, but not just the automobile industry. My name is Ray Halen, uh, service manager at Bobcat of Pacific Northwest, based here in Auburn, Washington. What we provide here is uh, all different types of uh, repairs, whether it be electrical, hydraulic, welding, fabricating. Uh, I have had employees come through my shop that have been through the Auburn School District that have had the skill set needed to begin in this industry. I want my students to be able to walk into a shop never having been a welder, a machinist, and be able to operate pieces of equipment safely and efficiently and productively on their first day. In a nutshell, what we're trying to do is workplace readiness. And these guys hear frequently that this class or any class you can treat as training for the workforce. Well, our big hope for our career and technical programs is to link them to businesses, um, both so they have they can see a future with the education they're getting, but also to where they can actually have a, a great living in the city of Auburn. I welcome uh, any input from industries in the area. If you would like to come and meet our instructors, see our program areas, we have uh, programs at all three comprehensive high schools in the Auburn School District. Having your input is invaluable and will only make our programs stronger.